move over Birkin and Kelly because I've got six gorgeous Hermes bags to show you that nobody talks about and I've spent hours scrolling through pre-love websites so that you don't have to and I'm really excited to show you these gorgeous Hermes bags because they're worth talking about so get ready for some eye candy so bag number one this is called the Hermes Fonzbell bag and this is actually one that I have on my wish list so this is a gorgeous box calf leather vintage bag this is what it looks like from the front Look at this beautiful, luscious patina on this box calf. So we have one of those two waist straps. So it gives you the flexibility of wearing it as a short shoulder bag or a long shoulder bag. And some people can even get away with wearing a crossbody. This is what the interior looks like. So it is a leather lined interior and you do get two compartments. Now, I'm a really big advocate for buying bags that are versatile. I think it's really important to be able to get bang for your buck and wear a bag as many ways as possible so that it suits your lifestyle. And I actually featured this bag as my vintage and more affordable alternative for the popular Hermes Rouli bag. And I featured it in my five vintage alternatives to Hermes most popular bags, which I'll link up above and in the description box down below if you wanna check that out. So I found this bag was made in a variety of materials, including the luscious box calf and a few different exotics like ostrich, alligator, croc, and also I'm gonna butcher how you pronounce this, but Toile, that's the Hermes cotton canvas. Anyone who speaks French, please comment down below. How do you pronounce this? When I use Google Translate, it sounded like Toile. Toile. But please correct me. And best of all, check out the price point of this. It's a really good price point. On Fashion File, they have a white ostrich version. So we're talking exotic for two and a half thousand dollars. Hermes and Exotic for two and a half thousand dollars and the condition is not too bad So this is a really great price point for an Hermes bag So for you're looking for one that's in a good price range That's a bit different to what everyone else is carrying check out the font spell. Okay, so bag number two This is called the jockey bag. This is a really great mini crossbody bag Just check this out in the mod shot here. How cute does that look? So this is what it looks like from the front. So it's got this square shape here with the jockey logo. This is what it looks like from the interior. So it's all leather lined, just one compartment. And this is what it looks like from the side. So it appears to have a detachable strap. So it doesn't appear to be adjustable, but it does appear to be detachable. And if it is detachable, then I absolutely love that because I love to have freedom of switching out straps so that you can make the bag work for you and fit your lifestyle. Now I found this bag was made in a couple of different colors. So I've got black, I've got gold, I've got white, I've got red. And I also found it in a few different leathers. So there's the Corcheval leather, then there's the Chev leather, which is a goat leather. I could be just pronouncing this wrong. So again, if you speak French, please let me know. This is what it sounds like on Google Translate. Chevre. And again, the pricing is really good for this bag. So you can find this bag generally for under a thousand dollars still. So if you look at the price here in this ad, it's only going for $864. $864 for an Hermes bag. Come on, how often do you see that? Okay, bag number three. So this is called the ring bag. So this is really similar in shape to the Fonz Bell bag that I showed earlier. Now I really love this type of shape because it's got the rectangular shape and you have the two way strap, similar to what you get on the Hermes Constance. So again, versatility. I'm a big advocate for versatility in the straps. We can go short shoulder, we can go longer shoulder. And if you can get away with it, then the crossbody. Just check out this gorgeous ring clasp on the front, really beautiful touch. This is what it looks like on the interior. So similar again to the Fonz Bell, you've got compartments and you've got a flap compartment as well. And it's leather lined on the interior. So I found it in different colors like black and gold and burgundy and a few different leathers as well. So I found it in the box calf, the croc and the lizard. And best of all, the pricing. So the pricing on these bags, guys, is much better compared to the Birkin and the Kelly. So this bag I found for under three and a half thousand dollars. How good is that? Okay, guys, so how are you enjoying the eye candy so far? Tell me, have you never seen these bags before or did you already know about these bags? And if you already know about these bags, tell me, do you own them or have you hunted down these bags before? I'd love to hear about your journey. 
And for any of you who are familiar with these bags, if you know any fun facts about them, share them in the comment down below so we can all share information with each other and we can learn from each other. Okay guys, so bag number four. So I couldn't actually find the name of this bag. It was just called Shoulder Purse Crinoline Courchevel because it's made from crinoline with Courchevel leather trim. So if anyone recognizes this bag and knows the name of it, please comment down below because I couldn't find the name. So when I looked up crinoline, it said it's made from horsehair. Now this is a Courchevel leather trim. Now what really caught my eye about this bag was the clasp. So it looks like an enamel clasp with this gorgeous horse on it in a frame and the frame is looks like it's made from a buckle and it opens up and the flap has a hole for the stud to go through and that's how the bag opens and closes. It's so beautiful. So let's take a look at the interior. So this appears to be leather lined interior as well. I love that about the old vintage bags. It's so quality. Even the interior is made of leather. So this looks like it has an adjustable strap and you guys know I love an adjustable strap. So I love this two way. You can go short shoulder, you can go long shoulder and if you can get away with it, then the shorter crossbody bag. Best of all, check out the pricing on this bag. It's under $2,000. Under $2,000, unique Hermes bag. Come on, get your bang for your buck. So again, guys, anyone who knows anything about this bag, please share your information and comment down below because I'd love to learn more from you guys. Hey everyone, and if we haven't met before, I'm Lady Vintage Bags and I love vintage designer handbags. And I'm here to show you that you can not only own, but even collect gorgeous designer handbags just on a budget by buying vintage. So if you love pre-love vintage and affordable designer handbags, then stick around and hit subscribe because I'm your girl. Okay, now back to the video. Okay, so bag number five. So this is called the Pochette Green Bum Bag or Belt Bag. So it's not actually just in green, but that was what I saw was the name, Pochette Green. So this is a cute little dinky bum bag belt bag, and it appears to have a detachable waist strap slash belt. And I love that it means you can switch it out. So if that belt doesn't suit you, or you want to wear it across your chest with a different strap, you've got flexibility there. I love flexibility with the handbags. You can make it suit you and your lifestyle. I'm a really big advocate for that. It's got two gold snap buttons at the front. If you open it up, it's just one main compartment, leather lined it appears to be, and I found it in a few different colors. So black, gold, red, blue, and best of all, pricing under $1,000. Check this one out, 650. Come on, these prices in this economic climate that's the way we want to go when we get our Hermes. Okay, the piste resistance guys, bag number six. This is called the drag bag. Now the drag bag has a more vintage style and a more modern style. So I'll be talking about the vintage style drag bag. Now this, I consider this to be a great, more affordable vintage alternative to the Hermes Birkin bag. And I actually featured it again in my five vintage alternatives to Hermes hottest bags, which I've already got linked down below for you. So check this out guys. This is it from the front, it's a handheld bag. It's got these two H-shaped clasps at the front. And this is the bag I think about every time I get FOMO for a Birkin. So again, leather interior, and this is what it looks like on the bottom. Feet guys, I love feet on the bottom. Now this bag was not only made in leather, but also exotics. And there's actually another YouTuber called Promdi Abroad. She actually has two drag bags. And if you wanna see more about the drag bag, I'm gonna link her video down below. She's got an exotic drag bag and she's got a leather drag bag. And that way you can see more details about it. And she even has a video comparing it to the Birkin. So if you wanna see how good of a comparator it is to the Hermes Birkin, I implore you to check out her video down below as well. Pricing guys pricing under four thousand dollars you can find this bag still for under four thousand dollars so tell me in the comments do you agree this is a good more affordable alternative to the Hermes Bacon comment down below I want to hear your thoughts